In Vietnam, coffee is no longer a daily ritual. It has gradually become a shared connection with profound social impact, fostering lasting connections in businesses. I really enjoy the Vietnamese coffee the most. It's a combination of the flavor, uh, it's a little stronger than most other coffees, which I really enjoy. I like it hot, I like it cold. Uh, there's so many different varieties that you can have. It really is uh, fantastic. And I like the fact that the coffee is so much a part of the culture of the company mm. uh, uh, and a part of the culture of the country in totality too. I mean, there's literally coffee shops everywhere. It's amazing. But the beauty is that the Vietnamese coffee, there are so many different varieties yeah. from different parts from the highlands, right? You could taste the different flavor profiles, which is pretty amazing, which is quite different than a lot of the coffees that you find from Africa and uh, Latin America. Personally, I like a couple of cups of coffee in the morning, one sometimes mid-afternoon, and then I'll have one after dinner. So on average, I'm probably drinking three or four to contribute to sort of the uh, Vietnamese coffee society. Similarly, I do too in the morning. You, you gotta get your body to Correct. a certain place in Correct. the morning. Uh, in the afternoon, just to make sure you don't fall asleep. <laughs> Especially if you're a little jet lagged when you first get here, right? And then at dinner, you gotta be careful, so you gotta drink a little bit with less caffeine or decaffeinated, because if not, you can't go to sleep, right? So yeah, maybe a little bit of cream will help. The future of coffee in Vietnam is, is really unique. Uh, not only do we see an explosion of different kinds of coffee shops offering different varieties because it's just not traditional cup coffee obviously it's that plus all kinds of um, different opportunities for folks to really develop unique formulas and different kinds of varieties but it's also that opportunity for vietnamese coffee to be almost a concept to be exported around the world and we see that everywhere don't we we do and uh, what you see in the marketplace today is not so much the focus of where it's from but it's been more focused around operating in the brand and what they want to sell. Right. But in this instance, it can be catered from a perspective of Vietnamese coffee and how different it is, and therefore create a potential trend that really caters to the uniqueness of what it can offer based on right. all of the things that we said about the right. quality and the flavor profile. Right. I mean, Vietnamese coffee in and of itself, traditional coffee, has a unique niche in the world of coffee shops around the globe. Mm -hmm. uh, but given the explosion of, the, of coffee and tea shops everywhere in the US, in the UK, throughout Europe, other parts of Asia, Latin America, the ability to take Vietnamese coffee and then build on the success that they've had here beyond traditional Vietnamese coffee, again, to layer uh, all kinds of drinks, drinks mm -hmm. that they can have during the course of the entire day, hot drinks, cold drinks, etc. Right. Drinks almost as a uh, Vietnamese coffee drink, almost as a substitute for meals in some places. Mm -hmm. It truly is a, a huge opportunity. You know, Richard, I love this local origin coffee. It's, it's just amazing. It's fantastic. I Cheers. Cheers to